Welcome! In this video I'm going to show you how you can calculate relative risk in R or specifically R Studio as a effect size measure after a binomial test on proportion. So if you're looking for relative risks in other situations this won't be the video for you. Uh, as an example I'll need some data which I stored in the CSV file which I'll first load in and then I'll show you what that data looks like. Uh, it's uh, just having gender and marital status, two variables, and for this video I'll be using the marital status. Uh, unfortunately I haven't found any package that can do this, so I'm going to create it all step by step. First, um, as a data frame, I'm going to create the table of the marital status and store that under my frequencies. Uh, that I'll show you are just the frequencies of the different marital status excluding the missing values. Then all possible combinations I can use the combinatorics uh, function for that of my frequencies variable 1 and just 2. So comp and that will store all the possible different combinations. Then I need to have the frequency of each pair so how many are actually in each pair I'll use data frame and then a transpose function and then again the combinatorics on the frequencies and then 2 and to show you what that looks like uh, that's com2 and uh, um, can't really show that um, well I could by just doing com2 enter and then you'll see that it simply lists uh, separate counts for each possible pair and what we also need is actually the total, so simply adding those two up for each pair. And that will actually be added now. And I'll show you now COMP2 is actually turned into a table, so the pair N is just the total, the sum of these two together. Uh, then what we need to do is calculate that relative risk, which is simply actually now the count of the first variable. Uh, or first value uh, divided by the total and then uh, that result needs to be divided by the expected proportion which if there are only two is most likely 0.5 and you can also do it the other way around that you actually take the second value and look at how the result goes there I'll store those under relative risk 1 and relative risk 2 so control enter control enter and it might be good to actually combine all those results together. So C bind and then uh, the, val uh, the names uh, of the values for each pair and then the comp2. And that should give out one nice long table so that we can actually see all the results in here now. Uh, so for example, divorced and married, there were 314 people divorced, 972 were married that's a total of 1,286 and as you can see if it would be 1 uh, that would mean that it's exactly as expected 50-50 and this one is 1 1.5 um, above because it's higher than the expected one so it's 1.5 more likely and this one is of course less because the 314 was lower which is about 0.5 times less than actually expected and that goes for all of these and, and that's how you can quickly determine the relative risks. Hope this video was helpful.